Hello, and welcome to this Jackdaw walkthrough video. This video will teach you how to create e-learning from scratch in four easy steps. Step one, add a template. Step two, double click to edit and add. Step three, cut, copy and paste to expand. And step four, add a quiz. This is an expanded version of the video which appears whenever you start to create a new e-learning session using Jackdaw. The first step we should look at is adding a template. Each new template is added by pressing the new template button to the far left of the screen. Then select from the list of over 200 templates. Templates cover a variety of subject areas which can be searched for in this box here. For the purposes of this tutorial, we shall start with a blank template. To do this, select the first blank template by double clicking on it. This loads the template into our e-learning session, which is now ready to customize. Step two, double click to edit and add. Now we want to edit the content on the screen. All elements can be edited or changed simply by double clicking on them. For example, Double click on the text here. This is labelled as a content tag to start editing. The changes are then immediately seen on screen once made. We can also change pictorial elements that are already on the screen. This includes foreground images labelled with an image tag or the background. Let's change this background by opening up the library of backgrounds and double click on the one you like most. Note you can also upload any of your own media. You should really know how to scale and resize images. In addition to changing existing media on the screen, we can also add entirely new elements by accessing the media library. In this case, we will add a new video presenter on the screen. So we open the narrator menu, double click, and the selected presenter is added to the screen. We can then reposition this or any element on the screen by clicking on it and dragging it around the screen. We can also change any selected elements look and feel by altering the properties. We select an item by clicking on it. You can see that the item is highlighted and the resize squares are positioned on the object's perimeter. Here we will add a background to this content object so we can see the text better against the background. Step three, cut, copy and paste to expand. Each template has a series of subscreens. These represent ways of expanding the template in one of two ways. Firstly, they can be sequential steps when using the system. In this case, two. So the user views the first screen, presses the green next button, and views the next screen. Alternatively, in screens like this one with menu items, these subscreens relate to each new menu item. In this case, each falling block, etc. In order to expand such a template, all we need to do is to duplicate a subscreen. This is done by highlighting the subscreen, and an extra step or menu item is created. If we refresh the course, we can see the new menu item is added. It's as simple as that. And the handy thing is that all templates can basically be expanded in the same way. Once you've added the learning content, we recommend adding a quiz, which is step four, to check the learners have retained the knowledge delivered during the learning session. Quizzes can be added towards the end of courses. The course will record the results of only a single quiz, so do not add more than one to each learning session. 
You can add a quiz by selecting the quiz template from the templates list in the same way that was achieved for other courses. The quiz is different from other templates, however, in that it is edited using the Edit button on the Properties toolbar. Here, we can cycle through the questions and edit the question text. Select the correct answer and edit the text for those answers too. For correct and incorrect responses, you can give feedback and add a point system to questions in order to give certain correct answers weightings. You'll also need to edit the title of the question and have the option to add a comment box to collect further information and an image to illustrate the question. Finally, the properties allow you to do various things such as setting a pass mark. This is very important. State the number of questions used so different questions from the pool are asked each time and randomize the order. You can even remove any feedback from the learner so that they would be unsure of what they got wrong or right when taking the quiz. This prevents users just learning the correct answers and not understanding the contents of the e-learning session. Once you have finished the quiz, close the editing window by pressing on this close button here and this will reveal the last question you were working on. Remember then to place a summary screen at the end of your e-learning session and you should now have finished. Good luck using Jackdaw. Remember you can use it freely to create a 10 screen course for use on any SCORM compliant e-learning management system.